Hey everyone, it's Christian from Racknerd back with another video for you here on Racknerd TV. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into. We'll be discussing how to install Nginx on a VPS running the Alma Linux operating system. If you're interested in hosting websites or optimizing your server's performance, you have come to the right place. Before we jump into the installation process, let's talk about why Nginx is such a fantastic choice for hosting websites. Nginx is a powerful and high performance web server that excels in serving static content and handling concurrent connections. One of the major benefits of using Nginx is its exceptional performance. It is designed to effectively handle a large number of simultaneous connections, making it ideal for high traffic websites or applications. Additionally, Nginx consumes fewer resources compared to other web servers, resulting in a better overall server performance. Another advantage of Nginx is its versatility. It can function both as a web server and a reverse proxy. This means that you can use Nginx to load balance and distribute incoming traffic across multiple backend servers, enhancing your website scalability and reliability. So now that you understand the benefits of Nginx, let's get down to business and install it on our Alma Linux VPS. And don't worry, I'll guide you through the whole process step by step, but make sure that you already have your own Alma Linux VPS credentials on hand. If you haven't already, you can check out our video on how to order a VPS with Racknerd, which I'll link in the description down below. So please go through that first before you get back to this tutorial so that you can follow along with me. I'll also assume that you already know how to log into your SSH console to run some commands on the server. I will be using Bitvice SSH client for this once again, and I will share all the necessary tools and services in the description down below. So feel free to check them out. Now let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is log into our SSH console with the Alma Linux OS setup. We wanna update our system by running this command. Command. My system is already updated, so as you can see, there is really nothing to do at the moment there. Next, we need to check the available Nginx modules that we want to install by running this command. Now let's enable the latest Nginx module. To do this, run the following commands to reset and set the appropriate module version you want to install further. In my case, I will enable the latest version as you can see here. With that done, it's time to install Nginx itself. We can do that by running the following command here. After the installation completes, we'll restart Nginx and enable it with the following commands to start automatically upon our server boot. Now let's check the status of our web server Nginx and see if it's up and running by running this command. If you find an issue like the PID error, this is a common Nginx bug in which the system expects Nginx to load PID quickly, but Nginx takes longer than expected. To fix this, let's first exit from the systemd console by hitting the letter Q using your computer keyboard. And now to address the bug, we need to create an override configuration file to slow down systemd to give time for Nginx to load PID. And that works by running the following command in a single line. I also want to give you a pro tip here, and that is whenever you change or add any configuration file in your web server like Nginx, you want to check it out first, and if it's not returning any error by running this test command for Nginx. If no more errors are shown, you are free to apply the changes made by restarting the Nginx web server and running this command. And let's go ahead and check out the status to make sure that everything is working fine by running this command. Fantastic, Nginx is set up and running now without any PID issues anymore. Let's go ahead and move forward, allowing our web server to work together with our firewall. So if you have the firewall service enabled, you need to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic through the firewall by running the following commands. First is to allow HTTP then HTTPS, and lastly is to reload the service to apply the changes. To verify the installation, open up your web browser and enter your server's IP address or domain name. You should see the default Nginx welcome page, confirming that Nginx is working correctly. And that's it, you have successfully installed Nginx on your Alma Linux VPS. Now you can take advantage of its incredible performance and scalability for hosting your websites or applications. With an Nginx web server combined with Racknerd's powerful VPS hosting services, you'll be certain that you have the perfect Nginx server at hand. If you want to learn more about Racknerd and the services that we offer, be sure to visit us at racknerd.com. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. 
Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Rackner TV for more informative content and leave us any questions or comments down below. Until next time, happy hosting.